Christian Haynes. Oh, yes, there he is. Christian Haynes out of Yukon. You don't see a lot of guys out of Connecticut. And I'm a little scared of Connecticut guys after Matt Pert. Isn't that where he came from? I think so. Uh, so six foot two, three hundred and thirteen pounds. No age on him again. Another guy with no age. Um, he started off at UConn in 2018. So you gotta think he's probably around 24 years old. Um, played 13 games in 22. 12 games this past year with an 80.2 PFF grade. Now, you got to also remember when you see 80.2 PFF grade, he's playing UConn. He's not playing SEC, Big Ten, Pac-12. There's a little difference there in the quality of opponents he has. There's also obviously a difference in the teammates he has as well. So you got to take that part of the consideration as well. Um, but he did what you want from a guy at that point who plays in a lesser conference. He excelled. Um, as far as the pros, he's a pure road grader. This is a run blocking, like stud kind of guy at that point. There, if you need uh, some, you know, like a like a high tower from police academy, kind of like blow the hole <laughs> open kind of guy. Like that's what he is. You know, he's he's going to be a guy who's going to who's going to go ahead and move people for you. Um, he's also a very smart player. He's got a good football IQ where he sees people were moving in at that point where they're trying to go into the gap at that point. And I've seen him move where all of a sudden he's pushing one guy and all of a sudden you see him kind of push his guy into the other guy that's about to, he knows he's about to try to get into that gap. He's got that kind of football IQ going. Um, so the big issue with him is he's got he's a slow start guy. Um, he's another one of those guys that's got, you know, average as far as agility and speed at that point there. Um, definitely has some some issues with momentum as far as keeping some of his blocks going long term, especially in pass protection. Uh, but again, eighty point two PFF grade. That's 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 a legit grade there, and he did very yeah. well at UConn. It's just a matter of how much does that translate to the NFL. There's a decent jump going from the NFL from UConn. You know, that's a basketball school. It's not a football school. That's, that's that's what they are, um, but I think he's going to make the transition. I think he'll, he'll probably have a little bit of a rougher um, rookie season because I think there will be some some growing pains, so to speak, going that kind of growth to you know again from UConn to the NFL. But I think he's going to develop into a pretty solid guard in this league. He'll be that guy you look at as like, okay, well, I don't got to worry about this guy. He's got a spot. You know, yeah. he's got he's got that right guard spot locked down. I don't got to worry about that position because I have him. He, that's the kind of guy he's going to be. He's not going to be the Pro Bowl guy. He's not going to be the All Pro guy. He's going to be the guy that you just is locked down his position and you don't worry about him for the next five six years at that point there once he's got everything going. So, not a bad guy to have around. That's for sure. Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.